back my pack my tribe the howling after dark farm museum part two all right uh the reason i i put off this next clip is um it's length it's actually it's 19 minutes and 14 seconds long um basically what happened is is uh, and this is from saturday this last saturday by the way um, basically what happened is, is I set up my digital recorder and I, I just let it go for like the entire time we were up there and and I normally when and this is something I noticed kind of after the fact normally when we, we do like the attic we're typically not up there for all that long um, Usually, like, the max time we're, we're ever up there is, like, 10, 15 minutes. Although, a lot of times, some it seems longer. It's usually only about 10, 15 minutes. We went almost twice the length this time. Um, and I think that has to do with the amount of activity that was going on up there. And you're going to hear a lot of stuff in this. So, uh, by the way... Becca, I, I need your ears on this one because I'm sure there are things in here I haven't heard yet. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Becca is our, our uh, EVP specialist. She's got like these super like freaking bat ears that like puts the rest of us to shame. So... <laughs> So, uh, like, like she just picks up on stuff. It's crazy. Anyways, um, so we were we were up in the uh, the attic and and we'd set everything up like we normally do. You know, I had uh, had my camera running, and if you haven't seen that video yet, um, hit me up on Facebook or whatever, and I'll I'll send you a link to our stuff. Um, some of it is pretty damn awesome. Uh, we caught stuff there we haven't ever caught before, by the way, um, just on video. Um, I got a, not only did I get a full-bodied apparition of who I think was probably Jonah, um, which I'll explain later, um, but I asked him to raise his arm, and he did, and it was caught on film. Um... Like spirit orbs uh, galore, which you know, as I've explained before, I'm not a huge believer in orbs. Um, I follow the 98% rule that 98% are explainable as dust or water particles or whatever. But these were genuine orbs, no doubt in my mind about it. So, there you have it. Anyways, uh, without further ado, here we are, Far Museum Attic from last Saturday. What is it dropping to 
night. Oh, right. <coughs> okay, flashlight set. <laughs> Okay, oh, already I'm hearing stuff I didn't hear before. Um, and Becca, I'm sure you probably heard this too. Right before you started talking about, you know, flashlight set, I heard the word come across flashlight. So I want to listen to that part again. Yeah, it was like right there, just like a couple of seconds before you say, okay, flashlight set. I heard, I heard flashlight. Like it goes, flashlight. Yeah, and she says she hears uh, set, set it up, and Paul, call Paul. Which is amazing because I I still don't hear that, but uh, you know, if Becky says she heard it, she heard it. That's just kind of how it goes. <laughs> Okay, well here's one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and back this up again then. Um, Becca in chat just said that there's one after it says uh, flashlight that says quiet. So I want to I try and hear this. Did I just see you? <coughs> I saw. <laughs> What is it dropping tonight? Oh, right. Okay, flashlight set. <laughs> yeah, I definitely hear quiet. Um, right after that, you, it goes flashlight, and then you say, okay, flashlight set, and then it goes quiet, is what I hear. Um, so good catch. Um, and let's see, get up right now after quiet. Okay, I didn't hear that either, so, uh, let's see if we can't hear that. Okay, sorry, I forgot to turn the mic back on there. Um, yeah, um, she's absolutely right. Uh, right. Right after it says quiet, quiet it goes, uh, get up right now. I'm not sure who it was talking to, but it definitely said that. All right, continuing on. Sorry. 
somebody's moving back there. Kid Paul's team again. <coughs> Dead. Okay, uh, Becca just said something in chat that kind of confused me, so I'm going to ask her to explain it. Uh, she says, then after that, in reverse one, it says, don't let it have it. Oh, what do you mean, reverse? And she also heard, we are dead, which I also heard, by the way. Um, I did hear that one. Well, I heard the dead part really clear. Oh, she's saying, well, I can't play it in reverse on the show, unfortunately. Uh, she, But she says that, like, when played in reverse, it, it actually says, don't let it have it. So that's good to know. Um, I did hear the we are dead thing. Um, well, I heard the dead part of it really clear. Um, but I didn't hear the we are very clear. Anyways, continuing on. Paul, are you here? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard that. <coughs> Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. <coughs> Who else is here? <coughs> How many people are up here right now? <coughs> Did you hear that? Because beams of light. Yeah, there's beams of light, so we can see you. Okay, <laughs> I think this is what I hear. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Becca says that she hears uh, David needs help. Um, after I ask if Paul was here and before Reagan says, hi, Paul. So I'll back that up in a second, but what I just heard was, uh, hold on, let me back this up. Yeah, there's beams of light, so we can see you. Yeah, what, what I hear is... Um, Right after it says beams of light, and then I reply with, yeah, we have beams of light so we can see you. What I hear is the spirit come across and go, fantastic. So let me back that up just a little bit. Beams of light, so we can see you. Yeah, it was right there. It goes fantastic. So awesome. Okay, uh, let, let me back this up to where Becky's talking about. Um, Okay, after I ask if Paul was here and before Reagan says hi, Paul. Okay. Did 
I just see you? I saw. Somebody's moving back there. Kid Paul's team again. Dead. Paul, are you here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I heard that. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Who else is here? Somebody's moving back there. Kid Paul's team again. Dead. Paul, are you here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I heard that. <coughs> Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Who else is here? Yeah, I hear the David needs really, or, uh, yeah, the David needs really clear. The help part kind of sounds like it kind of fades out. And then she says it says uh, didn't want it, which I haven't heard yet. How many people are up here right now? Did you hear that? Because beams of light. Um, there's something else I'm hearing too, right after I say, uh, uh, beams of light, I hear our secret. So let me back that up a little bit. Yeah, it's right after I say beams of light, it goes our secret, and then after that I say, yeah, beams of light so we can see you. Uh, 
Okay, I just heard, heard uh, I, uh, at the time I thought it said, I'm tired. Um, now what I'm hearing is something completely different. Um, what I'm actually hearing is something about a retired firefighter. So l let me back that up a little bit. It, it is, it kind of fades out a little bit. Yeah, it goes retired, which I thought it said, I'm tired, and then a little bit after that it goes firefighter, or fireman. So, I don't know. Anyways, continuing on. Okay, with the, uh, this is what Becca says, uh, she hears, uh, with the, in reference to the retired firefighter bit, um, she says it. she possibly hears, I'm retired, and then she hears, I fought fires. So, uh, you know, I trust, I trust her hearing over mine. I don't. I mean, I've got excellent hearing up to a point. Like, I could hear, like, it, to put it the way that uh, a nurse in in uh, the Army once put it after a hearing test, and a, that took place, by the way, in, like, one of those little kind of, like, makeshift, uh, like, mobile home type office deals. While there was a, a two and a half ton trucks rolling by, I heard the hardest to hear beep, the one that like everybody misses, and I come out of there and she goes, you could hear the fucking grass grow if you wanted to, direct quote, um, so I do have excellent hearing up to a point, but it's something about the frequency in which EVPs come through that my hearing just doesn't pick it up a lot of the time. For whatever reason, though, uh, certain individuals like our beloved Becca here um, are really in tune to it. And so uh, she picks up on a lot of stuff that the rest of us miss. So I trust her. Like if she says, I I'm retired and I fought fires, I have no doubt that's what it said. Um, you know, so there you go. Can get a picture of you? 
Perfect. Oh, it's like perfect oh, right perfect. now. Yeah. Myself flashes. Can you show yourself in our in our picture, please? Okay, there's a bunch of stuff that Becky's hearing. Um, that um, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna back it up because we've got about 12 <laughs> we've only gotten in about six minutes on a 19 minute clip <laughs> and uh there i know there's more that i want to get to um the stuff i know is definitely there but i i just want to uh relay to you guys what she says um uh when she asked to get a pic she heard yep which I also did hear. And then she says she thought she heard right, Meg? Like. And then it says, uh, you will get the picture. Which I did hear a picture on that. And then there was something before it I couldn't make out. So I, I just trust her judgment on it. Um, so anyways, continuing on. Okay, this I am going to back up for just a little bit. Um, when Becca says uh, there's also a flashlight here on the floor, or whatever it was that she said, I, I don't remember exactly, um, I hear thank you. So, yeah, I want to hear that again. Come on. Yeah, uh, definitely says thank you. And Becca says, by the way, that she's hearing so much that she can't even keep up and chat. Which, uh, you know, says a lot about how active it was uh, this particular night. Um, and it probably, like, the past couple of investigations that we've done there, it has been the most active I've ever seen it in, like, three years. So, you know, keep that in mind. Anyways, continuing on. Damn it, you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Why'd you say damn it? Door. 
said something about a door the last time we were here, too. I heard some back door. Are they talking about the portal again? I don't know. Okay, um... I just kind of want... I'm not going to back it up, but, uh... Well, actually, yeah, I will. I will back it up a little bit, because uh, I want to hear this part about the back door. Um, and the reason why, why this is, uh, you know, kind of validated is because uh, the last time... It was either the, the, the investigation before this last one, or it was the one before that. Um, they were talking about a door quite a bit and uh, so it's saying back door is kind of very relevant um, so here we go yeah I heard it right there it's not it doesn't come across quite as strong as a lot of the other ones do but um, I definitely hear it. It does say back door. Uh, let's play this one more time. Damn it. Why'd you say damn it? said something about a door the last time we were here, too. I heard some back door. Are they talking about the portal again? I don't know. Are you talking about the portal? Is there someone behind us? I said, you said there is. I think there's a couple behind us. Well, you're welcome to come join the rest of us. Do you know my name? <laughs> Y'all said my name before. I thought we were here. Okay, um... I just heard it say my name, actually, uh, right as I was asking if it knew my name. So let me back that up just a tiny bit. Okay, um, we're, we're about to get to a part where they're talking about this entity, Haas, whoever the hell Haas is or thinks he is or whatever. Um, but I wanted to point out, yes, it did say my name. They, they call my name for some reason or other, like, all the time. Uh, so I'm just kind of, um, I'm used to it. But, uh... There were a couple other things said right there that uh, Becky picked up on. Uh, this is what she's saying. When Reagan says something about the portal, one says portal. And after that it said damn it, which it said damn it a few times. And then she says, uh, she thinks she hears Jay get up. Um, which, I didn't hear that part, I just heard my name. Um, 
but I don't I don't want to back out because we've only got about seven minutes left and about uh, nine minutes of of audio to go through and it's about to get to the good stuff uh, so we're just going to continue on And right there we have it. Uh, I just heard Hawes did it. So, let me back that up and we'll play it again. something touched yeah. the grid. Did somebody touch that laser grid? <laughs> Did it just say asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Jay's not an asshole. He knows he behaved like one. Could have been calling the ghost that did it. Whoa! Okay, I'm not backing this up yet, but um, I just wanted to explain. Um, whoever this Hawes guy is, the rest of the spirits in the place don't like him. And, and this isn't a name we've heard like the entire time we've been going there. This is fairly recent. It's only been like the past two or three investigations that his name's even come up. Um, Jonah, however, uh, is the spirit of a little boy that has been following around Reagan. Um, she first encountered him at her house. Um, but the past couple times we've gone to the farm museum, he's been there. Uh, along with Paul, who's another one that follows her around. Uh, she seems to, like, collect these, like, wayward spirits, so to speak. Um, yeah, uh, Becca says she hears uh, Hawes is the asshole. And Hawes is, and then something. Um, I'm not sure. Anyways, we're going to continue on now. What about the He didn't like it up here. Nathaniel didn't come up here. Okay. At least not to get over come across. I'm ready. He did What did he do? What did Hoss do? Whoa! I don't know if you all just heard that. This is what I just heard. When, when uh, it goes, Haas did it. And I go, what did Haas do? This is what I just heard in response to that. I heard, cracked Donnie. So I just want to back this up a little bit. Alright. Yeah, right there. I just heard cracked Donnie. Oh, and uh, uh, Becca says that uh, when it said Haas is, and then just kind of trailed off, what, what it actually was is when we were talking about the asshole being Haas, it was the ghost agreeing with us by calling him that. 
and she says she she heard uh, he hurt Donnie. I heard he cracked, but either way, it amounts to the same thing, um, and it's not good. Yeah, you actually hear it go, idiot, and then uh, you hear Becca go, who's the idiot? And right after she says that, I hear Hoss. So, uh, let me back that up just a little bit. Yeah, we've only got about 20 seconds left, so I'm not going to be able to back this up. But what I just heard is he hurt Donnie. Um, and I'm sure that's not all he's done, because we've been hearing crap about Haas for like a while now, even before this whole episode with Donnie. But four seconds left, so thank you, my pack, my tribe, for tuning in. Uh, tune in Wednesday. It's going to be an awesome, awesome show. Um, until next time, my pack, my tribe, peace.